This assessment asks us to name the molecule using IUPAC nomenclature. Now, the functional group that's present in this molecule is an alkene. So when we start the problem and we think about numbering it left to right or right to left, what you notice is that if we numbered left to right, the first substituent would be at the four carbon. But we're going to number this one from right to left because the four carbon going in that direction has the alkene present. So the decision of which way we number is based on numbering it so that the alkene functional group comes first. From there, we can just identify the substituents that we have. So we have a methyl group coming off of the seven carbon. We have a propyl group coming off of the four carbon. So this is going to be a four propyl and a seven methyl. In terms of the 10 carbon chain, it's going to be deck. We're going to use the prefix deck and we're going to indicate that the alkene is at the four carbon by calling it deck for ene. All that remains then is to put these in alphabetical order. M comes before P, so hopefully we can get this spacing right. We're going to call this 7-methyl 4-propyl, all one word, deck for ene. Are we done? Not quite. We have a stereocenter at C7, and so we need to name this as R or S to indicate the absolute configuration. The way we'll do that, we'll first recognize that that carbon also has a hydrogen coming forward. That hydrogen is going to be the four substituent. Let me grab a different marker so I can write a little smaller. The hydrogen is going to be the four substituent. We'll circle that number. The methyl group, this carbon versus carbon versus carbon, the methyl group only has three hydrogens attached, so it's going to lose the tiebreaker and become the number three priority. Between six and eight, they're both CH2s. We go out one more to compare nine and five. Five is a carbon with two bonds to another carbon. Nine is a carbon with only one bond to a carbon. So because of what's happening at five, this side is going to win the tiebreaker. And so we'll call this the number one substituent. Going over to the left is the number two. In this case, our lowest priority substituent is coming forward. Our arrow counts from one to two to three in a counterclockwise direction. Counterclockwise with the lowest priority substituent coming towards you is going to be R. So this molecule is R. 7-methyl, 4-propyl deck, 4-ene. Let me double check. One, two, three. It is, in fact, the R stereochemistry.